If she goes in, we're all going in. Okay, my beautiful humans. We are about to hit a yard sale up. It's an annual yard sale in Country Club Drive that uh, the rich folks have to get rid of all the stuff that they buy that they don't need which I've made quite a bit of profit off the things I purchased. So I'm cool with it, but it's been a minute. I don't know how much I'm gonna show you here because I don't have a bag. So I'm gonna need both hands for this. But I thought while well, I'm sitting out here waiting, I never get to sales early, but I was gonna go to the post office and it wasn't open yet. So I might have to drop my packages off after I hit this yard sell up. In any case, I had a few weeks where I was getting ready for an antique fair which was so much fun and I sold some great things. I'm gonna tell you my favorite story about some of the things I sold. I picked up some things specifically for that sale that flipped really well. And then I sold some things that I've had for a couple of years and wasn't, wasn't really sure what to do with them because they were too big or things like that. And I sold one of my favorite pieces. I'll tell you that story because that's really the best story of it. But I made about $1,000 in one day. So that was excellent. Now that does not include the $100 fee. So take $100 off for that for my booth. The $100 I spent on extra inventory for that sale. So take $100 off for that. And then uh, I did go ahead and give my dad 100 because he hung out with me. I mean, I could have given him more, but you know then he'd just have to help me out with something later. So I made about $700 in profit, which overall I think was really good for one day and definitely made up for the fact that I did not make that much for other things. Anyway, there are some people here also pulling up early. Uh, these, they run the sale. They send out emails like notifying you when the sale's going to be. They're very organized. Everything's labeled. They don't like to bargain, but I figured, you know what? Let's just come anyway and see what we got. They have got like 10 golf bags out. One of the things I did sell was my vintage Callaway golf bag. I did end up letting it go for 85 I just don't want to lug it around and I've had it for over a year and I haven't figured out listing it or anything like that. So had it marked at 125, definitely could have gotten more actually because it was really pristine shape, but that's all right. Ooh, someone's getting out right away. They pulled up, they're getting out, they're standing there. The rest of us are waiting in our cars. So she's taking her phone out. She's looking, she's looking at the time. Now she's just going to kind of ease her way in there. If she goes in, we're all going in. All right. Nope. She's just standing there. She's, she's standing and waiting. She pulled up like to the curb in front of the mailbox. She's serious. She knows the sale. All right. I'm going to put you away because I'm going to make a run for it because she's going to get something I want, but I'll pull you out and show you what it looks like after I get like the lay of the land. I just realized why she stopped because they actually have ropes across the driveway. So that's the only reason she did not proceed further because she's roped off. They're still bringing out some things hanging up a 70s looking psychedelic rug. It's not really 70s and uh, some fall floral decor. So they are still like, putting things out. She is, she's assessing, she's looking for where she wants to go. She goes, go stand there too and like suss out what things are. There's still 15 minutes. I don't want to be like that person. Anyway, I had to give you the update on why she actually stopped and did not proceed for, ooh, person in front of me is getting out of her car too. This is it, we're all getting out and waiting. She's like, she's looking at stuff. I wanna go look at stuff. Yep, that's it. Looks like we're all gonna make our move and go like hover. I guess I'll go hover too and we can like look at the yard sale together. Hold on. Yeah. I go and check it out. She doesn't let you look. To, oh, okay. They got the rope. Yeah. She was going in. It's like. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been here before. Yeah. Oh, every oh, year. Every year. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, no. She sends us a. Oh, yeah. I see this. You sign up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah no. This is intense. I was just looking for something else. No, this <laughs> one. This one. She I've... will not open stuff. Yeah. No, that doesn't. And. Uh... <laughs> Um, it was so. Oh yeah. Then they probably get less and less stuff. Maybe right? that's expensive. Yeah, that was crazy. That's fine. <laughs> That was way too much of a success. I am full in back and full in the back there. Spent around $200. There's just another little yard sale on the way out. So of course, you know, I gotta stop there too.
on the frying pans. Okay, I love that lady. She's so much fun. She has lots of cute little tchotchkes, things like that. If I can find the yard sale where I did that one before, I think I showed it, but maybe the footage was too bad because you know me, I'm not good at the yard sale footage. I did get a old, an old, there we go. I was trying to figure out what I was saying, a GoPro from Shop Goodwill and it works, but I'm not sure how to like, I need to get the cables for it. It's missing cables. So I do have that, but... Anyway, we'll eventually get decent yard sale footage, possibly, and maybe people will watch the channel then. Anyway, I will be showing you this stuff at some point, probably. Okay, I may have gone to the thrift store after. <laughs> now I'm getting coffee and then we're heading home. Okay, Whew, that was a marathon. I spent all of the monies. There might have to be three hauls if we're gonna do hauls. Let me know what you think if you wanna see what I got. I did cut my own hair, which was looking okay when it was down because I floofed it. I'm kind of impressed with my hair cutting skills. I'm not gonna lie, but also I have curly hair so you can't tell if I cut crooked. That said, got my coffee, dropped off the packages at the post office because I actually had a sale yesterday. <laughs> but now I'm heading home and I've gotta go through all this stuff, take up price tags, price them and get them in boxes for the upcoming antique shows that I'm going to. Anyway, I will see you later when we look at all this stuff. Woo! Okay, beautiful humans. We are back. We have a yard sale haul, another yard sale haul, and a thrift store haul all from the same day. I don't know exactly how long they're going to take, so maybe two, maybe three videos, but let's just get started. I'm going to flip you around. You saw the, the little footage before for me waiting for that first yard sale. Hoo, hoo, hoo. There are a few things I spotted right away that I had to snatch right before anyone grabbed them. I'll flip you around and show you them. All right, so this is a set of two little plant stands. They do have different color beads, which I'm okay with, but I had to scoop those up right away as $2 each. That's going to go great. These will probably wait until spring at the antique shows, just because I think or, you know, vintage shows. I think that's more of a spring thing. I also have this little plant stand that I scooped up and then this little one that's shaped like a bicycle. I do have another one that matches that slightly bigger and then one that is even bigger. And I might do a little trio of those, but I had to grab those. All right, let's flip you around and see what else we grabbed once we got ourselves settled. <laughs> All right, so like I said, standing outside, just kind of looking around to see what was there at the sale, I did see these little mushrooms. Now, it looks like they were perhaps like on a steak or lighted or something, which is fine at some point. They just are a great look. They are glass. They do have a few chips and dings at the bottom, and there are three of them. So I think those will be something super fun. I may put them into something because as you can see where this piece has been taken off, they are a little rough, but that is okay. So I grabbed those. I grabbed this here. Uh, let's see. Let me just rotate you. This is a milk can with a marble top. Let me grab these out of the way. And so it does have a little chip here in the marble, which is okay. I wasn't really as much interested in the marble top, but just the whole look as a whole. I'll clean that up. I'll see if it is sellable that way, or I'll just sell the milk can as a planter. It does have a hole in the bottom, which I suspected because it is rusted out as things happen when you put them outside. All right, this sale, you saw a quick look as I was standing there. They are, do, they do this every year and they send out emails or texts etc they have a ton of stuff it's all the folks from the country club getting rid of things that they don't need or want so i like to go there because often there are things to flip now i did not go straight to the clothes like i normally do i went to the shoes so let's take a look at those i actually hold on i'm getting in the bag here Hopefully the lighting's okay. We're just outside because this is where I kind of unloaded. I'm going to be staging things, deciding if they're going to go in to get photographed for eBay or I'm going to put in tubs to go to the various sales that I have coming up. So these actually I didn't find until later. These are actually a pair of Burberry little 
just sneakers. I'm gonna go ahead and give those a soak in some OxyClean or some Retro Wash just to freshen them up a smidge. They are in decent condition otherwise. Uh, so I had to grab those. And I think those are what, like a size 38. So what, a size seven-ish? They do have things divided up by sizes, usually. Uh, I had to snag these Picolinos, which are a great brand. I think they're made in Spain. I can't, yeah, made in Spain. These are almost new, uh, really cute. I've sold some Picolinos before that I've gotten, and they sell pretty well for a decent price. These probably won't sell for much till next year. These were $5, and mm, the ones I flipped before, I flipped for like 40 to 50 I can't remember which. So those were a good find. Ooh, what is this? I grabbed these boots. I don't know the brand. Oh no, these I do know. These are Steve Madden. Those were $6. And are these, a, these are a size eight and a half. So I grabbed those and those were $6, not eight. So just a cute pair of fall boots. Good shape. Let's see. This was the brand I did not know. It is Essex lane and these are a size 10 but i thought they were super cute so if they're not super like a great sellable brand uh they had these marked at seven i will wear them because they're my size so you know cute basil you drinking water i don't know if you hear that but basil's down there drinking water it is kind of warm uh i did grab these these were five dollars these are sorel just a cute little pair of cream booties and these are a size seven and a half so good size there let's see and i also grabbed these cole hans just a cute pair of brown i cole Haan is expensive but it does not sell as well as i would like it to so i really need to stop buying it but i just can't help myself because it's so well made and it's such good leather what size are these oh eight and a half so just a classic pair of little shoes that was it for the ladies shoes but i did go ahead and snag they had a bunch of men's shoes that were new in box like for $30 a lot of them adidas they probably would have been worth doing the research on and picking up but I just did not want to spend that much right then these however I did spend $20 for these are Nike snowboard ski boots and they are basically unworn they have a little bit of wear and some yellowing along the tread which I should be able to get out that one is the one that I might not be able to get out but they're in really good shape. Uh, there is a little scuff on that toe. Comps, listed comps up to 200, sold, and not quite so much. All right. Then I ventured over to purses, and I can't believe, I don't know if there were purses that I missed that were there before, but like I've gone on the last day before and I've gotten a Tory Burch bag for $4 that sold for 80, stuff like that. It had a little damage, but still sold for a lot. But I don't know, like, was I the first person to get to the purses? There was someone else there right when I was there. But um, I kind of grabbed a lot of purses. Let me shift things here real quick. All right. So this isn't in order of what I saw, but we're just going with it. Uh, we are in the hay shed, by the way. So <laughs> there's the hay. Hi, hey. Uh, we're on the trailer because this is where I kind of unloaded everything to get it out of the heat while I figured out what I was doing. Ooh, we're a little tipsy. We're tipsy. <laughs> and not in a fun way. There was no alcohol involved. Oops. A little reddish out here. We're going with it. Uh, this is just a little brown leather twist front bag. Very cute. I'm actually thinking I might keep this one. Uh, I think it's unbranded as far as I know but it may be one that I have to get a light on. Yeah, I think it's just, reminds me very much of bag I had from the 90s. So let's see, I need to put that in its hoot. Hold on, I'm arranging. We're, we're, we got this. Oops. Ah. Oh. All right, here we go. And there was also a navy one, super, is that navy or black? That may be black. I can't tell. Uh, super soft, super soft leather. I think these are from the 90s. Could be from the 80s. Ooh. Oh, this one's Coach. 
I have to look more closely at the other one. So this is Coach. It's got the label right there. Um, I'll have to check that a little more carefully and see if that's vintage, like if it's actual Coach. And that one might be Coach too. I couldn't see it because it's tone on tone. So who knew? Uh, those were, I think, $5 each. This is $4. It was Cynthia Rowley. And it is just a cute slouchy bag. It is missing its longer strap, unless it's in here somewhere, but I don't think it is. But for $4, I was okay with it. And also I just love the color for fall. It's kind of an orangey red. So I thought that was really cute. Uh, ooh, don't, <laughs> I'm gonna break this. I did pick this one up at the end. This is a 1999 Angel of Kindness and I like the cat with the willow tree. And I do sell willow tree fairly regularly online. Okay, so this is where I was like, I saw this one, I was like, oh, wait, $8 Dooney with the charm, good condition. It's got a few marks on it, but for vintage Dooney, not bad. So grab that. And then this one, uh, someone else was looking at it. I was like, oh no, this is also vintage Dooney. And I had a black one that on Thrilling Vintage, a movie studio borrowed or rented, which they can do for like a month, but they didn't return in time. So they ended up paying the full price for it, which I had at like $178. So this was $7 and again has the charm over here is in pretty good condition actually really good condition for cream and this vintage um so oh my gosh love that and then this was the first bag i saw and it's just a cute tassel bag i love the style of it i don't know if it's supposed to have a strap or not it snaps and oh yeah it's supposed to have a strap it's missing its strap but it's anthropology um, but I just thought it'd make a cute clutch. And also I'm thinking I might order a couple of just like the canvas straps in kind of a tan or maybe a dark brown would be pretty with this one and just have that as an option for someone. Uh, I'll look up comps and see if it's worth it. But otherwise I just sell it as is. Really cute. And then this also is a little Dooney. I love this clasp. It's got the duck on the back with the all-weather leather. And again, the strap is missing on this one, but it would look, this one would look really cute with like a striped canvas strap. So again, that's something I'll suggest, or if it, if it, if I feel like it in the mood, I will just pick one up. So I grabbed that. All right, there's more. Y'all, when I say I grabbed all the purses, I grabbed all the purses. Um, this Dooney, I mean, seriously, hold on. Gorgeous. And as far as I know, they all check out as fairly authentic based on my knowledge of Dooney's. I've sold a number and done the research, but if you see anything that looks fake, let me know because it is possible. I did buy one Dooney briefcase that I wasn't sure about from Shop Goodwill and it turned out to be a fake. Um, and someone who was had worked at Dooney let me know that, which was really nice of them. So that's really cute. Again, it's missing its longer strap. It's not in there, but that's okay. So most of these I just sell as is and give suggestions for purchasing straps. You can get straps this color often. Um, this one was interesting because I have it marked up for like $6 and it's pretty dirty. I don't know how much I'll be able to clean it. I love the clasp here. And it says under the clasp, um, D Brev and it has a number. So that is the only mark that I found. I feel like this is more like 60s or 70s, could be 80s. Um, the girl said it was her mom's. And so I just went ahead and got it, even though it's a little dirtier than I would have liked. I just thought it was really cute and I just wanted to do some research to find out about that brand. So that worked. And then this one, also very cool. This one was $8 and that appears to be like crocodile, oh, ostrich, crocodile. And again, I'll have to get a flashlight 
the lighting is not great right here because it's it's in a weird spot but we're just going with it i'm also like i thought it was cooler out here so i'm like we'll just go outside we'll do this i'm not i'm schwitzing just a little bit it's all right we're fine we got this um but i picked this up so again they're rich people they have rich people purses whatever uh okay i did that then i finally went and i looked at clothes and I did not see a lot that I was super excited about. Normally they have one of the girls who does have some vintage, but this was the only vintage piece I found and I love it. Terry cloth right now is kind of super in. So this is just a cute little top, probably a swim cover up with the boat. Love it. Um, had to grab that. It's a small made in the USA. That needs to go inside to get washed. Uh, I grabbed this dress which has weird boob pads in it. I'm not super fond of those, but you know, I don't like padding. Uh, I don't need the help there. This is Hutch, size small. A wee silk. Anyway, it's this beautiful wrap dress in green. It is maxi and gorgeous. Ooh, it has slits and all kinds of flowy goodness. What is going on here? Oh, here. I don't think it's silk. Yeah, it's polyester. Anyway, I grabbed that just because it's beautiful and I wasn't sure of the brand, but it wasn't that much. So I took a risk. Whew. Okay, I'm dripping here, people. It's definitely warmer than I thought it was out here. Don't worry, I'm fine. But if I melt, you'll know why. I grabbed this. It was weird. A Amati size small. I have a lot of smalls. It ties on this side over here, I think, was the only part I didn't really like, but it's this kind of cute dress with a chambray top and then a knit skirt so i thought that was interesting and this i grabbed because it says it's a small but it's not i mean this will fit like three people in here it's rolf accessories dry clean only uh, well she says it's a small but i mean that is pretty much like a true one size fits whoever and it's their mother because that's huge so I might keep that, wasn't sure. I did grab this, even though I told myself I'm not buying any more little lace dresses. This is a Babaton size six, really cute sheer top. And then the skirt is lined, has a zip back. But those dresses, eh, like I have three listed, so I don't know. Uh, I grabbed these. I had them, five of them, they're table runners, but I thought these might be fun for my booth and I'll look them up to see, oops, I like the color. This pink, by the way, is super on trend right now, also green, so I might sell them, I might list them online. And this looks like Ecuadorian or something like that, Peru maybe. So I'll do a, uh oh, there's a skunk somewhere. Uh, so I'll do a little search on those. All right. This I got possibly for me. It is a Cynthia Rowley size extra large, no, one X. Uh, just a cute zip front sweater jacket. Cynthia Rowley active. I'll look up comps and see if it's worth selling, but otherwise I'll keep it. And then I got this cool little bell. It was $2 and I feel like it's got the anchor. Did I see a date on it? Anyway, it was cute. Little ship spell type thing. I got this gray snake skin. It is cable and gauge, extra large. I'm probably going to keep it. It's a little pilly. Well, how much was that? $2. Yeah, and it's extra large, so I, I thought I'd keep it for winter, fall. I don't have any, like, my size now stuff and then oh they gave me the hangers i did get two men's um they were pristine but now they're a little wrinkled uh ralph lauren 15 and a half this was a dollar and this one was 450 i'm not sure what the difference was this one's a little more vintage i think grab those Doo -doo -doo -doo. and then oops Sorry. I did grab this wetsuit. Um, it's in really good condition and it's a small, so I grabbed it. 
All right, let me shift some things around. I'll be right back. Okay, we have got two last things that I picked up at that yard sale to flip for a profit. This I got just because of the look. It does have some wear, but it was $1. It's Bulova or Bulova, however you say it. It's made in Taiwan and it definitely has some wear, some loss of color, but I think the look for Dark Academia, a little den, perfect so i grabbed that i feel like that'll be something i'll check the comps online but that'll be something i'll flip at one of the antique sales for like 15 bucks or something unless it's worth 10 million in which case we'll charge more i did also grab these two bunnies um because they are super cute and they are definitely vintage as far as that goes I didn't see a maker, but I will do a search. Did I see a stamp? I can't remember. Anyway, I just grabbed them. I liked the look of them. I think these might be something that I will save for a spring. Uh, one of the vintage fairs coming up in the spring. So that is all that I got at that yard sale. Let me know what you think. Is there something that you kind of spied around? We were looking around at the beginning that I should have grabbed. I may go back on Saturday. It's a half price day. I don't know if they put new things out throughout the sale because I've always found stuff like when I go later because sometimes I miss the first day. Uh, but today I decided to go and I grabbed some great stuff. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm going to save the next yard sale for a separate video because this is going to get too long if we keep doing that. And then also I did happen to go <coughs> to half price day at the thrift because it was also the day they switched tags. I did not look at all the clothes, but I did get a few pieces for 50 cents, mostly for me. But <laughs> Let me know how you feel about this yard sale. Is there a favorite find you have? And I will see you when we talk about what I got at the next yard sale. Later, alligators.